Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. This video outlines basic laser safety practices. Warning, class four invisible laser radiation can permanently damage eyes and skin. Everyone present during laser operation must wear both Miller Optics laser welding helmet and laser safety eyewear certified for OD7 or greater at 1070 nanometers. Laser processing of metals works by focusing the laser energy into a very small high power spot. The power density is so great it easily melts metals. It's important for the operator to understand how a laser beam travels. A laser beam will diverge from the focused spot and create a cone of radiation. As the beam moves away from the focus point, the power density goes down. Even though the power density decreases as it travels away from the torch, it can still be high enough to be a hazard to the skin and eyes. The nominal skin hazard distance can occur within 53 feet of the focused beam. Nominal eye hazard distance can occur up to 755 feet from the focused beam. When using the optics system, always use the product inside laser controlled area with laser barrier. Everyone inside the welding cell must wear full PPE, including laser safety glasses, laser welding helmets, and protective clothing whenever the laser is operating. When using optics, never hold parts in your hand or place your hand under parts. Heat generated from welding can burn skin. Always wear welding gloves and proper PPE. When a laser beam strikes a surface, any power that is not absorbed by that surface can be reflected. Diffuse reflections from surfaces can scatter over large areas. Always be aware of the expected cone of radiation. Lasers can travel large distances, and the cone of radiation can be wide. Even under appropriate welding conditions, some laser energy can be reflected from the part. Never look at the weld pool from a direction other than behind the torch. Never hold or position a part where your hand or body could be exposed to a reflected beam. Specular reflections can occur from multiple surfaces, potentially causing the beam to bounce back towards you or others in the welding area. Always consider the potential for reflections before starting to weld. Weld position should be chosen to direct expected reflections toward laser barriers. Reflections are more likely if the laser parameters are not set correctly to achieve melting of the target part. Use the recommended selection of preset parameters and nozzle tips to produce correct focus conditions for material thickness and joint type combinations. The operator and any spectators in the welding area must wear full protective equipment when the laser is operating. These include laser safety eyewear certified for OD7 or greater at 1070 nanometers, laser welding helmet, jacket, apron or other skin protection, and welding gloves. Always maintain awareness in the welding area. If you sense a hazard, immediately stop until the hazard condition is corrected. Watch for metal not melting as expected. This can indicate that the laser beam is being reflected. Burn marks. This can indicate out of control reflections. Unsafe coworkers in the welding area. Laser safe eyewear and laser welding helmets provide protection against possible reflected radiation. Never, under any circumstances, look towards the beam, even when wearing full eye protection. Laser welding should only be performed if the area is free of combustible materials. If combustible or flammable materials are near the welding area, the heat and sparks produced during welding are capable of starting a fire or causing an explosion. Make sure to always have fire extinguishers nearby. Never weld on containers that have flammable or combustible material. If the contents of a container are unknown, you should assume that they are flammable or combustible. Welding and cutting produces fumes and gases. Breathing these fumes and gases can be hazardous to your health. Have an industrial hygienist test the air in your facility to ensure the fume extractor provides adequate protection from contaminants in your environment. 
If you have questions about the extractor, see equipment label and consult your safety director and a certified industrial hygienist. In confined spaces and other circumstances, the use of a respirator might also be required. Gas cylinders should be located away from the welding area and not in line with laser reflections. When performing maintenance on the welding torch, such as changing the protective cover slides, always turn the key to the off position. The input voltage to the laser can be lethal if not handled correctly. All electrical cables and connections should be treated as if they were at a hazardous level. This concludes the video on basic operator laser safety practices. You have learned the principles of laser beams and potential hazards, how to minimize the risk of reflections and non-laser safety precautions. If you did not understand this information, please review the safety section in the owner's manual and re-watch this video or contact us for assistance.